This rig is just killing me. It constantly reboots and I think it's most likely caused by the X11 breakout board. So let's see if we can fix it. What is up miners and welcome to the 3Fox Company YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Jacques and the aim of this channel is to provide my audience with information and entertainment around the topics of blockchain technology, computer technology and cryptocurrency mining as well as general topics of interest. The Parallel Miner X11 breakout board is very common and chances is high that you might also own one of these or maybe a few. It had been a popular choice amongst miners and they are economical to buy and easy to operate. But they didn't come without their fair share of issues and hiccups. And this is exactly why I'm making this video to demonstrate to you that it's actually very easy to fix. SIGPOW released a couple of videos about the X11 breakout board and he explains in detail which components are failing and why they are failing as well as a few alternative methods for fixing them. Check out his channel at some point as he has a ton of educational and well explained videos. The fixing method that I will be applying today may not work on some server power supply unit manufacturers, but I'm both using HP and Dell server power supplies and this particular fix is compatible with both brands of PSUs as I've also tested it on both. So before you chuck your faulty X11 breakout board into the rubbish bin, watch this video and by the end of it attempt to repair it yourself as it is easy, it's fun and it will save you a lot of money. Let's go on top and have a closer look. This is my faulty X11 breakout board and we only need a few basic tools to accomplish this job. First of all you need a soldering iron, you need a cable cutter, piece of soldering wire and of course a little bridge piece that we will solder in there. Nah, only joking, we won't use this one. A little piece like this will do. So the first thing we want to do is to locate pins number one and pin number four. That is where we will solder in the piece of bridge wire and that will enable the circuit to turn on the breakout board and the power supply continuously. So we take our soldering iron and the soldering wire. So we will just thin this pin so that it enables us to solder it more easily when we put the bridge piece on. Pin number one and pin number four. And then we just take our bridge piece and also thin the ends of the bridge piece. So after we've done that, we just go ahead and then we solder the one end of the bridge piece onto pin number one. Just make sure that the connection is secure, that the soldering bound to the pin completely and that we don't have any loose connections that will cause problems in the future. So now we can take the second leg and just solder that onto pin number four. Again, just make sure that the connection is secure and that there's no loose connections. Okay, great. So now that we got it on, I would suggest that we just put a little dab of hot glue onto that end. So if we get any vibration, so that it will not cause the bridge piece to vibrate loose. We just put a little bit of hot glue over that pin. And then we just put a little bit of hot glue over that pin. And basically that's all we need. So we just put a bridge piece between pin 1 and pin 4. That will enable the control circuit to turn on the breakout board and the power supply continuously. And I think now it's time, let's go ahead and test it and see if this fix was successful. I have now been testing this X11 breakout board for a few days since I fixed it and it seems to be working just fine. I've experienced no shutdowns, no restarts and this is definitely a win in my book. This is part of our crypto mining journey. We experience issues, we research their causes, we fix them and in the end, we educate ourselves on new topics and acquire new skills. If you found this video useful, then please hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Now go and grab a soldering iron and repair your faulty breakout boards. If you would like to see more content like this, then I suggest you watch this video next. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.